is the moment we waited for. Everything you want is right here. We gon' give them what they came for. We gon' take it up from last year. Shoot on my shot, boy, I'm long range. Me and the team on the same plane. Stay down, never switched up. Only thing changed was the game. I'm in the zone now. Nothing can change what we on now. When I pull up, no, it's going down. Oh, yeah. Oh, brutal. Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics out on the water this week. We are at beautiful Lake Mondrian and I've brought a secret weapon with me, Josh Dow. <laughs> We're in Josh's boat. We've been out here for about 10 minutes buzzing frogs on the surface, four inch hard leg frogs. Boof, fish on and it looks like a pretty good fish as well. It's a proper one. Mate, that was epic. No word of warning, <laughs> just straight up. And you cannot beat that sound, hey. Size of this oh, one. you cannot beat that sound. That is a beast. I'll well, just play him out. Yep. We got pretty light gear. Just need that light gear to throw these frogs. There's jump. How fat are these <laughs> monitor about? That is an epic fish, mate. What a fish. That take, boof. No brutal. word of warning, just five litres of water disappears. And he wasn't far from the boat either when he ate it, no. mate. That was brilliant. Uh, what colour are you on? Watermelon chartreuse? Watermelon Orange. chartreuse. Hard leg frog? Hard leg frog, 6-0 chin locks. Yep, that 6-0 is nice for that. Perfect. You'll probably find on this fish we've got a perfect corner of the jewel hookup. That's generally what happens with that 6 0 chin locks in that four inch hard leg frogs. And as they do, this guy's trying to go under the boat. That is it's a, a monster. tank, mate. That is an absolute weapon. <laughs> what a way to start. Oh, the trip. what a cracking fish. We've, eh? we've We're like, it's hot, it's hot. <clears throat> 30 metres of bank, maybe? Yeah. That's incredible. This might be your shot here, mate. He's not really going crazy this far. He wants that weed again. Yeah. I'll give him a bit more. It's hot. It's mid-afternoon. <laughs> that fish doesn't care. He ate that off the top. He's happy. And that's the thing, when the water rises like this, bite times, time of day, Moon phase, tides go out the window. These things are just ready to ambush at all times. Yep. And he's come out from there he that is, way. There he is, he's got his, got his head up. He's coming in this time. Straight at the boat. Might get a shot. I'll let him plane it in. <laughs> I'll try and get his head up. Oh, no, I didn't no, like that now. No, no. I don't want to swipe at him. No. Little bit. Under the boat, get that net up. Not where you want them. Out the other side of the boat. <clears throat> he's not quick, but he's uh. He's got some power. He's just slow and powerful. He's got a fair bit of hurt on him. Oh, big fish though. That's quite That's a good the, one. The shoulders on him just incredible. He's one powerful critter. Oh, on a gear acre. Oh, just moved a lot of water with that big tail. Oh, that's good. I can see him a bit better around here. Pick a side. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting angrier. Where's your big in there? Right up. Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I just need to commit to him, mate. One last hurrah, I think. This is it. Beautiful work. In, in, in. That is a, just leave him in. In, leave him in. That is a beautiful <gasps> lake water bar Monday on surface <laughs> at two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> So we're just going to leave that guy in the water for a second. Justin's going to grab the brag mat out. We'll give him a measure and we'll, uh, we'll hold him up and show you. All right, we've got everything set up for this guy. We'll bring him in. Oh, look at the size of it. That is a Look at the weight in that thing. And exactly as we expected, four inch hard legs frog, six O chin locks right in the corner of the jaw. And these guys have the biggest bucket. Yeah. That's a good frog eating mouth. <laughs> All right, there's one meter and five centimeters of top water Lake Monda and Barramundi. 
that thing is an absolute beast massive shoulders on it and a big deep belly let's uh let's get him back and keep moving that all happened a bit quicker than we expected mate <laughs> <laughs> all in uh all in a very short period of time like i said we'd only covered all of about 30 meters of bank and this guy was straight onto it that is one of great lake Mondrian's finest right there and i think he's ready to go what an insane take and an incredible fish mate that was, that was <laughs> epic hey that take was insane just talk us through what you're throwing because i love those big surface eats so i've got a um z-man four inch hard legs frog watermelon chartreuse six o chin locks gets really nice exposure there it's great strong hook and i'm uh, i'm throwing that on a seros five to twelve kilo seven foot one one piece four thousand itx 20 pound pulse x8 and hard armor tough in the 80 pound go into those mono leaders so we can keep those frogs up on surface and we're just buzzing these weed edges here and that took what five minutes yeah that was amazing <laughs> eh? it was a what a way to start it and that that's a good call with that that nylon mono hard armor leader 80 pound keeps that frog up because that nylon leader floats a lot of people would think that's not real heavy gear for this no, type of fish no typically pretty light barra gear but fishing the weed like this and then also fishing light lures it's required and you can get away with it yep you just got to play them smarter just they run around smooth. a tree flip that bale arm chase them yep it's definitely doable buckle up that's epic <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks, the hook that we use when we're buzzing these frogs is a TT chin locks. So it's a chin locks jig head. You can see that red packaging, chin locks on there. And we run a 5-0 or a 6-0 in our four inch hard leg frogs or our four inch goat toads. And that hook is designed with what we call a chin lock keeper on there. So once we rig it, and we'll show you how to rig it a bit later, once we rig that frog up, his head is locked in this chin lock keeper. And that allows us to punch a big long cast, work that frog, and even if a fish hits it, sometimes it'll keep it in place and keep it running for that fish to come back and have a second go. So that's built on a brutally strong mustard black nickel chemically sharp sharpened hook. That's rock solid on the barra. So our barra are suction feeders. So basically that barra will come up, flare his gills, which draws water into his mouth and basically sucks that frog right into his gob. So then as he turns and we set that hook, that hook slides out and it finds the corner of the jaw. So a lot of the time it'll hook the fish right in the corner of the jaw, which makes it very hard for them to shake that hook. And you can get a nice solid hook set and then get them into the net. So that's our TT chin locks hook in a 5 or 6 in that four inch hard leg frogs and that goat toads. Let's get it rigged up, get back out there. All right, so our frog that we use for buzzing frogs for barramundi is that four inch hard leg frogs from z-man so comes in a bunch of colors we've had some for a while and there's a few new colors that beer run calico candy and also gold rush which is a nice dark profile for early morning and dirty water and that sort of thing so our hard leg frogs is a 10 times tough elastic material so it's extremely durable which is important when you're weedless rigging because you're only really pinning a couple of sections of the plastic so standard plastic just gets torn when you catch a fish, whereas we can catch multiple fish on a single Z-Man hard leg frogs. We've got our feet there, that'll kick and bubble in the water. So you'll know when you've got that frog running right, you'll have those two feet kicking and they'll be burbling and leaving a bubble trail in the water, all of which attract fish out of the weed and the lilies. So we've got that blah, 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 blah of the frog swimming. And then we've also got rigging slots on this frog that make it nice and easy to rig as well. So let's rig this guy on our TT Chinlocks jig head. So basically we want to go in through the nose, out through the underside of the plastic. So you can see there it's in through the nose and out through the underneath there. And we want to grab a fair chunk of chin to lock into this chin lock here. So I'll push it up there, spin it around and lock that chin of the plastic into that chin lock keeper. So you can see there the chin is pinned in there so it's nice and secure. Then it's just a matter of lining up where our hook's gonna come out. And it's gonna come out right at the back of this frog. So we'll put our hook in, out through the top there of that rigging slot. And you can see there, we've got our protection there. So it makes it weedless and snag resistant. Fish bites it, boom, there we go, right in the corner of the jaw hinge. 
So that's our four inch hard leg frogs rigged on that TT Chinlocks jig head. Let's put it to work. Watch the game change. Watch the game change. Watch the game change. Watch the game change. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Done, Austin. <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> He's coming at me. Oh, come on, mate. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, beautiful dark colored fish living right in the weed. <laughs> oh, that was a nice take, eh? Hey? That was the pop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Well done, mate. It's a nice dark colored fish. I'm on the lightest gear too. I've got the four to eight kilo TT Black Mamba going with the 4000 ITX. But I've got that, I've got that 20 pound braid and I've got that 80 pound leader on there. So let him chopping up the weed. That hard armor lead is good and, and that hooks where we want to see it. Like an early shot at the sky. Beautiful mate. <laughs> well done mate. That's epic, eh? Okay. <laughs> what a fish. <laughs> Love it. Came here with my secret weapon, and he's put me on a fish first <laughs> afternoon, so I'm pretty happy, eh? <laughs> That's on that beer run color, one of the three new colors in that four inch hard leg frogs. It's a beautiful color. It's got that pearly top, so it's easy for me to see it. It's just spat up some bait too. But it's got that beautiful gold glitter underneath there that really creates a bit of flash, eh? How's that, mate? That is cool. Beautiful. <laughs> Where's our frog? <laughs> he's all over the shop there. All smiles here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the board. Yeah, that was cool. That's it's it's amazing ale. I haven't buzzed frogs for a lot and a lot of years, so it was just great to get that surface take. He smashed that four-inch frogs. Love that beer run colour, especially late afternoon. That I reckon that little bit of gold glitter in there is pretty nice, eh? Hey? And that's a, a magic fish. Beautiful dark fish, nice dark fins, even in the weed. I didn't want one as big as that one you got to start <laughs> off with. I wanted a nice warm up fish, so that's pretty <laughs> nice. That is an absolute beautiful fish. I love them dark colored like that from in the weed. There you go, Lake Mondrian Barramundi. I'm pretty pumped. We're gonna get this one back in the water and give it a swim. All right, one thing I love most about getting a fish like this is, is sending it back. So we'll just hang it in the water. Yeah, it's ready to go. It'll tell you when it's ready to go, that's for sure. See ya, buddy. Away back to the bottom. Fish on. All righty, I just thought I'd take a second to run you through the uh, combos we're using for frogging for these barras. So we're both running 4,000 size ITXs and uh, we've got them spooled up with 20 pound Pulse X8. Nice and thin to give us those long casts with the frogs, but we're still able to, to stop those barra and a bit of weed. That's going down to some 80 pound hard armor tough leader really tough for uh, for those barrows abrasive mouths. The trick is though, we're only running about two to three foot of leader on that one. So it still keeps the leader up out of the water, keeps the frog up and it's not too much weight bearing down. Where uh, I'm using the Seros um, seven foot, five to 12 kilo, still gives a really nice long cast with those frogs, but it's got plenty of power down low to set the hook deep into those barrow. Justin's running a seven foot, four to eight kilo black mamba, similar sort of situ situation. Uh, we're just running these weed banks here, fishing parallel, getting as far out in front of the boat as possible and just burning those frogs back right along that edge. Those barrel will come out from, from underneath that undercut weed and they're gonna ambush these frogs. But yeah, we've had a little bit of success so far. We'll see if we can uh, keep going. Well, there we go, folks. A cracker afternoon session on the water, Lake Monger and Barramundi on Z-Man Surface Frogs. So thank you very much, Josh, for the opportunity. Josh Dow with a cracker 105. I got myself a barra, so thanks, mate. Very no pumped with that one. Hopefully you guys took some tips and tricks out of that that you can use to get out and get your own Barramundi on a surface Z-Man Frog. Cracker afternoon. There's a southerly blowing in, so we reckon we might bail off the water tomorrow and we might go and hit the salt or something else instead because the bite's probably going to shut down. But that was a cracker, Arvo. Hopefully you guys get out and get a fish soon. Stay tuned for plenty more adventures from us and we'll see you out on the water. Fish on. Pocket yep. and give that a run. Might be a bit friggin' small. I think we're facing that way. Sure. 
pulled it up well, we're right into the car and shine it on. Yep. You alright? Um, I don't have a head. Alrighty. It's the uh, very last bit of. Oh! Gone. Very last bit oh, of life of the day. Oh, bugger, bugger. Just jumped a little dude off. He's probably about 70. Just running down this weed edge. One more in. 